everyone, Adam here at ECP, and today in the post I received my decap pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and fit that very shortly. Just bear in mind that uh, removing your cap will cause the card to fail an MOT test. But it should be straightforward of just taking the cap off, putting the decal on, and then repeat the process when it comes to your MOT, get it MOT'd, then you can take it off again. Uh, so just bear that in mind. If you don't want the hassle of taking the cap on and off once a year, you know, this isn't for you. But if you don't mind and you want the louder noise and the more bangs and pops that it should, uh, should give you by doing this, then go ahead. So let's get to it. Right, everyone, sorry, there's not a lot of room under here, so bear with me, but this is the piece of pipe stroke cat that you want to remove now in theory it is straightforward in theory I say it's a case of four bolts two either end of the pipe so there obviously this ending one two and past the cat along the pipe and two more bolts there take it from the hanger uh, bear in mind like the, to get these out and in uh, a new one in the hanger is very difficult so just be just be persistent and you get on top of it but don't forget to remove where is it sorry I'm just a bit tight under here the air sensor which is there obviously that will read the oxygen that comes out of the engine now, when you remove the cap uh, and sit the new bit of pipe in, there's a good chance a warning light will come up on your dashboard because the oxygen, the, the fuel, the oxygen will be too rich coming out of the engine. That is the purpose of the cap, to clean the exhaust before it leaves the car into the atmosphere. So, it's nothing to worry about, but there, you know, there's a high possibility that it will bring up a warning light, so bear that in mind. But as you can see, these nuts and bolts are extremely rusty so even though it's just a case of unbolting all four it might not be that straightforward but let's see how we get on there you go guys there's a finished product the pipe is on it looks nice and it absolutely sounds amazing i would highly recommend doing it uh, one thing that i haven't done is stuck in the o2 center that's because it's firmly stuck in the uh, D cap, the cap, sorry, that we took off. So what I'm going to do is leave that on the cap and get a new one because, like I said, this will fail an MOT. So when it comes around to doing your uh, renewing your MOT, uh, you best unbolt in these four bolts, nice new bolts. So it will come off nice and easy. Undo these four bolts and rebolt the old cap on. Get it MOT tested, and it's just a case of four bolts again. Uh, old one off, new one back on. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Obviously that follows on to where I de-rezzed. Uh, I retook that off and put some more uh, exhaust paste on. But yeah, good job, sounds good, looks good. So let's listen to it. There we go guys, there's my car all decatted, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, as you could tell from the start of the video, my nuts and bolts were extremely rusted and corroded. Uh, cut a long story short, I couldn't get them off. I had to take the car down to my garage where I work and me and the lads ended up getting up on the car ramp, getting a blow torch and cutting them off. Uh, that was how hard and how difficult my cat was to, uh, to remove. So my recommendation before you even start doing this, before you even think about buying the pipe, is maybe getting under the car, check your nuts and bolts, make sure that they're not as seized as mine were and you can easily uh, un unbolt them. If you can, great, get the pipe ordered, get your four bolts undone, get your sensor out, put in a new pipe, 
get the new bolts in and up, off you go. Uh, if your bolts and nuts look like mine, uh, you're probably not going to get them off. Not unless you actually work in the garage and you have access to the garage. Uh, worst case scenario, you can just go down to the garage and say, hey, how much to take out the cap and put in a decap pipe for me? Like I said, it's only four bolts on the sensor to them. Shouldn't cost that much. And from my personal opinion, uh, it's worth it. The gains you get from the car being uh, decatted is great. I mean, I de-resed it first. If you've not seen that video and you've not de-resed your own car, go and check that video out first because you might want to go down that route before you go down the decat. But de-resing it gives the car a nice burble with pops and bangs. Nothing over the top, uh, just enough to make the car be a bit more presentable. Decatting it ups the ante by 40%, in my opinion. It's a lot louder and the bangs and pops are a lot louder and more frequent. You're gonna turn heads. For me, I like that. I like the loud bangs, I like the loud grumbles and I like people turning their head. Uh, I don't do it at three o'clock in the morning waking people up, no, that's not me, but I do like it. I do like it personally. So if that's what you want, great, go for it. Uh, any questions, any comments, please post them down below. I will reply, I will respond. Uh, I hope it helps you. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.